meatballs in a white sauce with capers. In Germany, this dish is an old favorite. But it's a mystery to most foreign visitors. From pictures, they try to pronounce its name and make out what exactly they're seeing in the photo. What is it? I see three, <laughs> three potatoes and uh, two... Como <laughs> digo? Two... Two meatballs. <laughs> meatballs. <laughs> Typically Polish, I'd say. Kernitzkernikluf. Gornike Sberger. Klops. Kernigsberger Klopse. At the Ratzweiger, one of the oldest restaurants in the eastern German city of Potsdam, it's a regular feature on the lunch menu. Here it's served with potatoes and beet juice. For some of the guests, this dish brings back memories. My mother always made it, and we kids loved it. I love it, but my husband doesn't because of the capers. It's the capers, the taste of the capers. I really like it. Oh, it has this light consistency, and then this slight sourness. They're not just any old meatballs. Thomas Wernicke, a historian from Potsdam, appreciates good Königsberger Klopse. As a specialist on Prussia, he knows all about the history of Königsberg, now known as Kaliningrad. So, is that where the recipe was invented? It's a dish that was eaten in East and West Prussia. It was clearly at some stage given the name Königsberger Klopse as a symbol for the East Prussian city, the capital of the province. Königsberg became Kaliningrad after World War II and is now inside a Russian exclave of the same name between Poland and Lithuania. Königsberg was founded some 750 years ago by the Teutonic Knights. Here in 1701, Elector Frederick III crowned himself the first king of Prussia. Potsdam recently reconstructed Fortuna Gate, which was built to mark this event. Potsdam later became the summer residence of the Prussian kings. Its palaces and gardens have made a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Potsdam keeps the memories of its Prussian past alive in cooking as well. Today, Königsberger Klopse stand for the legend of East Prussia. They serve as a memorial to the city of Königsberg and the surrounding region, at least for those who still have real memories of East Prussia and Königsberg. That's only true of the generation who were just children at the time. The dish as we know it was created some two centuries ago. The invention of the meat grinder made it much easier for housewives to mince meat. Björn Franke, head chef at Die Tenne restaurant in Potsdam, prepares Königsberger Klopse the old-fashioned way. He adds some anchovies to the veal for the meatballs. Anchovy has a strong flavor because it's a salted fish. It rounds things off a bit and gives the dish its own unique character. With or without the fish, the meatballs are immersed in hot broth for 15 minutes. This later forms the basis for the sauce, a white roux flavoured with lemon and capers. Klopse are typically served with pickled beets and mashed potatoes. The sauce and the meatballs have a strong flavour, so they are served with mashed potatoes. And people who don't want that can get it with regular boiled potatoes to make it even more harmonious. The beets add an earthy touch and they round off the dish. Many Germans think of Königsberger Klopse as typical cafeteria food. But the dish is also served up in gourmet restaurants and at state dinners. US President Barack Obama gave it a try during his visit to Berlin last summer. But what he thought of it appears to be a state secret.